Hey everyone, welcome you to my video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the interview question on statistics. So here the question is, what does central limit theorem states? So let's see the definition first. So central limit theorem states that the distribution of sample means approximates a normal distribution as a sample size gets larger regardless of population distribution shape. So what does this exactly mean? Let me make you understand of the central limit theorem. So let's say we have a population uh, which may or may not follow a normal distribution. So let's say this is our population. which actually doesn't follow a normal distribution, okay? Now, let's try to draw some a random sample from this population. So let's say I take sample one, okay? And let me calculate the statistics of a sample. So let's say I calculate mean for sample one. And again, let me take another set of sample. Let me take it as sample two. And again, calculate mean for it. So similarly, I take more number of samples. So let's assume that I take n number of samples. And calculate mean for all the samples that I have taken. So here, the central limit theorem states that whatever the distribution could be for the population, but if you try to take more samples out of this population, and if you calculate mean, the mean, the distribution of all these mean will follow a normal distribution. So if I try to plot this mean, it will approximate a normal distribution. This is mean of all samples. So it says that the population with any distribution, okay, may or may not follow a normal distribution. But if we try to take more samples out of it, and here the assumption is that all the samples are identical in size, okay? And the sample size should be greater than 30, okay? Let's say the sample size N should be greater than 30. Let's say n is the sample size. So it says that if we take larger number of samples, right? If, if the sample size is larger and if all the samples are identical in size, then the mean of all these samples will follow a normal distribution. So what is a normal distribution? So you can see that in normal distribution, you will have a bell curve, right? It will be symmetrical in nature, right? If you just flip this, the right side will exactly look like a mirror image of the left side, right? So it's symmetrical. And if you just flip it, just a side exactly will overlap on the other side. Isn't it? So this kind of distribution, we call it as normal distribution. Right? So this is what exactly the central limit theorem says. The population of any distribution where you take more samples with identical size and the mean of all these samples will follow a normal distribution. So where exactly uh, we are going to use this a central limit theorem? Okay, so central limit theorem is useful 
when we analyze large set of data, let's assume that we have a large uh, data set. So in those cases, we may not exactly know the distribution or we may not exactly know the distribution of the population. But here, according to central limit theorem, we can assume that the sampling distribution, that is the distribution of the sample mean will be normally distributed. So this allows for easier statistical analysis and inferences. So this is this is how we can apply the central limit theorem. Right? So I hope now you understood what central limit theorem states. Right? Thank you all.